Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I would like to introduce you to the first of three episodes in a series, AutoCAD Civil 3D and SSA Workflow Overview. The first episode is Civil 3D to SSA Settings, What is Needed to Get Started. That being said, let's get started. In this series, we will cover several key areas. Settings for Import-Export, what is needed, that's episode one. In episode two, we're going to talk about detention pond design workflow. And in episode three, in wrapping up the series, we'll talk about inlet and pipe design workflow. So let's talk about the settings for import and export. The two things that we have to be sure to have created and set correctly, we need a storm water parts list that reflects the type of structures and pipes that we will be wanting to use inside of our model and we have to set up the stormwater sewer migration defaults. This set of settings controls the import and export options for how structures and pipes come in from Civil 3D to SSA and back from SSA to Civil 3D. You will see here after we get these set up we'll, we'll run through real quick a quick demonstration showing that after all of this is set up that everything goes from Civil 3D to SSA and back and holds the correct structure type and pipe type. So let's get started. To give you a bit of background about this project, we've been asked to perform a drainage study so that we can size a detention pond, size some inlets and pipe for this subdivision. But before we can get started with the study, we want to be sure that the appropriate settings have been addressed in Civil 3D so that we can import and export to SSA and things come across as expected. So there are two things that we're going to talk about here in this particular episode. We're going to create a stormwater parts list and we're going to set up the stormwater migration defaults. So I'm going to create a stormwater parts list now. So I'm going to jump over here into the settings tab of the ribbon and I want to be sure to populate this parts list with just the parts I need. And I don't mean that you can't populate it with as many parts as you'd like, but for today we're just going to start off with uh, some pretty basic parts. So I'm going to name this parts list Stormwater Parts. And again, you can name this anything you'd like. I'm going to jump over. We'll add our pipes first. So I'm going to select new parts list. This will name itself uh, once we add the pipes. So I'm going to add a part family. We're going to use concrete pipe today. So I'm going to drop down here and select concrete pipe and hit OK. And I will select concrete pipe once it's populated under my part list name. I'll add the part. I'll just go ahead and add all the sizes. One thing I want you to notice is this right here, the Manning's coefficient. Okay, That's the roughness coefficient of the pipe. It's set to 0.013. When we bring this into SSA, it's not going to recognize that this is concrete pipe. It's going to import Manning's in for that pipe, so it doesn't care if it's concrete or PVC or what. It's running the design off of the coefficient. We'll address this again whenever we go to set up the storm sewer migration defaults, but this is this is something key, so make sure that this is set to the, the correct coefficient. And it is. 0.013 or 0.015 is what we could use. Let's use 0.013 today. A couple other things we want to make sure of. We want to be sure that we've we've set up the style to look the way we want, so I want to change all of these to... Uh, single line storm or double line storm. I'm going to leave them double line storm for a day. Uh, we could add pipe rules here and I would highly recommend, we won't do it today, but um, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and add a pay item to this so that we can quickly gather quantities after all of our pipe networks are in. So once we've got our concrete pipe, uh, I do want you to know you could add as many of those types of pipe as you want. So we could add PVC also or CMP, whatever pipes you'd like to add to be in this stormwater parts list. It's not just regulated back to concrete pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and select structures and we're going to keep this pretty simple. It comes in with a null structure. We're going to add a part family of rectangular junction structure, no frame. We're going to keep, like I said, we're going to keep it pretty simple today. And we'll go ahead and we will add all of the part sizes that we need, which I'm just going to tell it to add all sizes. The part size we'll be using today will be 96 by 48. All right, so we just want to be sure that's 36 there, 96 by 48. We want to be sure that it's there. 
I want to go ahead and change my style. Notice it came in with a sanitary sewer style. I'm going to change it to a catch basin. All right, and I'm going to leave the rest of this alone for right now. I'll hit apply and OK, and our parts list is ready. We're going to go ahead and jump to the second piece that we need to set up in Civil 3D, and that's the storm sewer migration default. So the way that we access that is we select pipe network, right click and hit edit feature settings. You can see here under the feature settings that we have storm sewer migration defaults. There's a couple things we need to be sure that are set so that when we transfer back and forth with SSA, uh, it makes sure that it reads the right files. So we want to be sure that we set the part list used for migration, that storm sewer parts part list we just built. We want it to read that. So be sure to set that. And then we can go right to part matching defaults. Now it looks blank. If you select in here, you get the ellipsis, or what I like to call the three dot button. And you just select that button, and now we can see the part matching setup. All right, so uh, we're going to do the import first. So this is the storm sewer part that will be matched at import to the civil 3D part. We're only going to use one part, really, um, in SSA and in civil 3D today. So we only have the rectangular junction structure with no frame. I don't have any circular structures. If you have circular structures, just match the part or just match the corresponding parts. And you do that like so. So the inlet we will be using and focusing on inside of SSA is the curb inlet horizontal rectangular. I want to be sure that that's set to rectangular junction structure, no frame. Now, if I hit my ellipsis again, I can add different structures to it. I, I would recommend adding all of your parts to your part list before you go and set these settings. But we have the option to add it here if we'd like. It's already set to rec rectangular junction structure, no frame, so I'm good to go. So we've just done our QAQC and made sure. If you look down here at importing pipes, so a circular pipe from SSA will come in as a concrete pipe. So if we had um, PVC or CMP pipes that we wanted to add this to, or, or we wanted it to take on the characteristics of that in Civil 3D from SSA, we can change it right here. Again, I highly recommend that you add these uh, pipes to your parts list before, but we have the option again to add them now. All right, so we're set up there. Again, we can go through and we can set every one of these. If we use all of these rectangular structures, we can match them to the Civil 3D parts. But again, today we're going to use the one part um, and, and we will use the one part in Civil 3D. So we're going to go to the Export tab after that, and we're going to be sure that the Civil 3D part that we're using is matching the SSA part. So Rectangular Junction Structure No Frame is the Civil 3D part, which is what we've been talking about, and we want to be sure it's matched to Curb Inlet Horizontal Rectangular, so, or Rectangle. So uh, we could use a Combination Inlet, which has a great in the gutter line, uh, but for today we're going to use Curb Inlet Horizontal Rectangle. This has a throat opening, so the water comes down and goes into the throat. It's accepted into the inlet through the throat, so that's what I want to use. Also, remember I talked about Manning's Inn. Manning's Inn is, how, is what SSA is reading for the roughness coefficient. Again, I said that um, it's not reading whether it's a concrete pipe or a PVC pipe or a corrugated metal pipe. It's reading that Manning's in. So whenever this comes into SSA, it's going to come in as a circular pipe. All right, so the concrete pipe that we have or that we have in Civil 3D will now come in as a circular pipe. Then when it comes back from SSA, remember we have the circular pipe here in the importing pipes, you will see that we've matched it to the concrete pipe so that it will it will reflect correctly inside of Civil 3D. So I've got everything set I need for those two parts. Again, if you need to set this up uh, more thorough, it, it's literally just matching the parts in SSA to Civil 3D on the import and the export side. Now I want to drive the point home that once this is set up, if it's in your company template, then you don't have to set it up again. But that does not mean that you, you can't modify it. This thing is kind of a living document, so you may have to change this per job. It's just all in what you're going to be using for your design. So I'll hit Apply and OK. And now I'm ready to start adding in some pipes. So I'm going to just create a simple pipe run here. All right, and I've got a physical representation here of what I want to use. So I'm just going to build a pipe run that starts here at an outlet, and I'm going to run it this direction. And we'll, I'll show you that it's working. So 
I'm going to run up and create a pipe network. And we'll just call this uh, storm line A. We'll use our parts list, our stormwater parts list. We'll match it to, just, just for today, the existing ground surface. We will add it to a road alignment. So I'm just going to add this to my roadway alignment here, and that's road A. Our labels will keep them to a minimum. I'll hit OK. I want to select my structure. And remember, we have the rectangular junction structure, no frame, and we added all of these part sizes. So I'm going to drop down to 96 by 48. Um, we'll start off by using a 15-inch concrete pipe. We want to be sure that we are going the right direction when we add this in. We're going to start downhill and move up. And I'm going to use pipes and structures as I add. I'm just going to select a point here. We'll come across, set another inlet here. And we'll set another inlet here. All right. So that will be the storm run that we have. Now I'm going to go ahead and swap out. Uh, this part, but I'm going to add a head wall right here. So I would need to come back to my parts list and I would add that part family. So a rectangular head wall, we'll just keep it simple. Actually, let's use a, uh, a winged head wall and I will add all those part sizes. And again, you can add just specific part sizes, it doesn't matter. So I want to be sure that my style is set correctly. So this is going to show up as a head wall. I hit apply and OK. Now I can swap this part with the head wall. All right. And I could have actually changed the part before I, I uh, applied it in my model. But you can swap parts very quickly. We'll just use the 54 by 12 by 55. And notice that it does come in. I'll rotate it around. All right, I'm not going to worry about rotating these inlets right now because for this episode, we're just concerned with the settings and how it's going to SSA and coming back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, we're going to bring this information into SSA. We're going to change the pipe sizes and bring it back so that you can see that it is updating things. So I'll drag this label off and I'll drag that label off so that you can see it just a little bit better. And I'll save my drawing. And we will select one of the inlets, and we'll select Edit and Storm Sanitary Analysis. You can import as many networks as you'd like. Just hit OK, and it will start the import process. Tell it we want to create a new project. And our project is populated. Now once we see our plan view, we're just going to do a simple edit and then bring it back just to be sure that the parts are matching correctly. So number one, let's check our parts here. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select one of the pipes. So remember Manning's in. I talked about that. It doesn't care if this is a concrete pipe. It just reads the roughness coefficient. That's what we're concerned with. It also brings all of the information from Civil 3D and how it was designed. So we would probably want to populate a profile so that we can see if it's close to what we want before we bring it into SSA. And any edits that we make here will translate across. So I'm going to change the diameter of that pipe to an 18 from a 15. And we'll do the same thing here on the upstream pipe. All right, also, the inlet that we used... It was a rectangular inlet with no grate here. That's how we matched it up in Civil 3D. So you can see that this is a, a curb opening inlet like I talked about earlier. And all of the invert information and top of inlet or rim elevation information comes in. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't have to go ahead and fill this out. And we will be covering this in uh, Episode 3 of this series. So it does bring everything in like I talked about. So I'm going to save this, and we'll just save it, and we'll call this SSA project, and we'll call this uh, episode one. Now, to get it back into Civil 3D, I need to export a HydroFlow Storm Source file, which is a .stm file. All right, we're going to call this episode one. 
and we will save. And it exports out our inlets and prompts us to save the log file. Now I'm going to jump directly back into Civil 3D and I'll go to the Insert tab and select Storm Sewers. Now again, this is the preferred method to bring the information back in. So Episode 1 is what I want to bring in. That's the one we just exported from SSA. And I've got an option here. I can update the existing pipe network or create a new one. I'm just going to update the existing. And notice that it changed the size of the pipe. So any of the information that we changed in SSA, it would automatically change that whenever the import process comes back in. Now that we have our settings up to date, we're ready to begin design and ready to move forward with design inside of Civil 3D. Now remember that these settings can be saved in your company template and distributed to all the users in your company. This is a huge time saver. This concludes Episode 1. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope you have a great day.